All right, time to get our first window open. So what I want you to do is create a new Python file that's actually outside of this GL app. Let me roll that up so it's not in the road. Uh, so GL app's got these two things in it and then you've got this new one called My First Shader Toy port.py and you just go right click on the main folder new Python file and give it a name. So let's click on that and open it up. The reason I've got these things inside of the GL app folder is because this is starting to form the basis of a graphics engine or at least it does in my course that I keep referring to. So I'm just keeping that code kind of consistent for you. Okay so let's now bring in what we need uh, from outside for our my first shader toy port so from gl app dot pi open gl import all then we also need to be from gl app dot utils import all okay so we've got that let's now create our class which will be my first shader toy port and that's going to inherit from PyOpenGL. And then we're going to do a def in it. And this is going to call this super version of init, which is back in that base class. We're going to pass through the position of our window. So let's say 850 and I'll go 100 and then 1000 by 1000. And then we're going to create a self dot screen plane. And this screen plane will be th the thing that's actually going to display our vertex shader from shader toy on it. So let's go uh, with none initially. Then we're going to have a def initialize. These are the methods that we haven't put into Pi OpenGL app, but it will actually run them in the loop. So initialize self. Now I'm going to put pass in here because we're going to write that later. And then def display for self. And then we'll go gl clear. And now what gl clear does is clear the screen. gl color buffer bit and gl depth buffer bit this here is a pipe okay and then all we really need in here is well that's basically it we're just going to clear the screen and we'll come back to here and go my first shader toy port dot main loop okay we're ready to try this out now to run it for the very first time you right click and go run if you've run it before it will show up over here in this little box and you can just hit play or run from there be very careful as you add like if you had another version of this code it was like version 2 and you were making changes to it and you wanted to run it that you must also right click on it and go run otherwise you could be sitting over here running this first file over and over again making changes to a different file and getting absolutely nowhere and i should know i've done it enough times okay so actually let's now press run and try it out so the first time your window opens it might take a little bit of time for it to actually pop open but it will as long as you haven't got any errors that come on down in this little window at the bottom then you're all good now any errors you do get if you're not familiar with pygame will tell you the file and the line that it's on and basically that's it so what's this doing it's clearing the color bit buffer and the depth buffer and then it's just drawing another frame or swapping the frames out. Now, remember I talked about the double buffer thing earlier. If we go over to our PyOpenGL app and have a look inside of the main loop, this is the bit that's doing the flip from the back buffer to the front buffer. Okay, so that's what double buffering basically is. It's just switching back and forward between those buffers. And each time it switches, it then draws something else on that back buffer, switches it to the front okay so that's all there is to getting 
your first window going. When we come back in the next lecture, we're starting to start talking a little bit about shader toy and vertex shaders. If you'd like to support our work, like us on YouTube, visit our website holistic3d.com, look for our courses on holistic3dlearn.com or support us on Patreon.